Are you exhausted? Drained? Feeling like you've got nothing left to give? We've all been there. Let me tell you this powerful truth. God gives strength to the weary. No matter how exhausted you feel, no matter how drained you are, God is ready to renew you. That's the promise in Isaiah 40, verse 29 to 31. And it's something you need to hold on to right now. By the end of this video, you'll see how God can restore your strength, lift you up, and empower you to soar above every challenge in your life. Stick with me until the end of the video, because I will be praying for those who feel overwhelmed, weary, and in need of God's strength to carry them through their toughest challenges. All right, let's dive in. Isaiah 40, 29 says, he gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. There's something important here. God knows we get tired. He knows we get weary. You're not alone in feeling exhausted by life's challenges. Maybe you're running on empty right now. You've been pushing yourself to the limit, emotionally, mentally, physically, and it feels like you've got nothing left to give. But here's the amazing part. God gives strength to those who are weak. He doesn't expect you to have it all together. He doesn't expect you to power through everything on your own. In fact, it's in those moments when you feel like you can't take another step that God steps in with his strength. Think about that for a moment. Have you ever been in a place where you were so tired, so overwhelmed that you didn't know how you were going to make it through? That's exactly where God wants to meet you. It's not about you having all the strength. It's about God giving you strength when you have none. That's a game changer. The verse goes on to say, even youths shall faint and be weary. Now, think about that. When we think of young people, we think of energy, vitality, strength, right? But Isaiah is reminding us that even the strongest among us will eventually get tired. Even those who seem like they have it all together, who seem like they can keep going forever, will reach a point of exhaustion and maybe you've been there. Maybe you've been trying to be strong for everyone else. You're the one people lean on, the one who's supposed to have it all figured out, but inside, you're worn out. Here's the truth. Everyone gets tired. Everyone has moments of weakness, but the good news is that God's strength never runs out. He doesn't grow weary. He doesn't get tired and he's ready to pour his strength into you, no matter how exhausted you feel. Now, let's talk about that word renew in verse 31. It says, those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. What does it mean to renew your strength? Think about it like this. When something is renewed, it's restored to full capacity. It's like when you recharge your phone. It might be completely drained, but once you plug it in, it's renewed with power. The same goes for us spiritually. We might feel drained, completely out of energy, but when we wait on the Lord, He recharges us. He restores us to full capacity. Now, I know what you're thinking. What does it mean to wait on the Lord? Does that mean we just sit around and do nothing? Absolutely not. Waiting on the Lord isn't about being passive. It's about trusting Him. It's about putting your hope in Him, knowing that He's going to come through for you. It's about being patient, yes, but also being expectant, expecting God to move, expecting God to strengthen you, expecting God to show up in your situation. It's like planting a seed. You don't plant a seed and expect it to sprout overnight. You wait. You trust the process. You trust that with time and the right conditions, that seed is going to grow. Waiting on the Lord is like that. It's trusting that God is going to do his part, even when you can't see it yet. And here's where it gets really good. Isaiah says that when we wait on the Lord, we will mount up with wings like eagles. 
Now, that's a beautiful image. Eagles are known for their strength and their ability to soar high above the storms. When other birds are struggling against the wind, eagles use the wind to lift them higher. They rise above the storm. And that's what God promises us. When we trust in Him, when we wait on Him, He will lift us up above the storm. He doesn't always take the storm away, but He gives us the strength to rise above it, to soar above the challenges. Think about that in your own life. What storms are you facing right now? Whatever it is, God is saying, if you trust me, I will give you the strength to rise above it. You don't have to fight the storm on your own. You don't have to be strong enough to push through it by yourself. God is offering you his strength. He's saying, let me lift you up. And here's the next part. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I love this because it speaks to both the big moments and the everyday moments. Running represents those seasons in life where things are moving fast, where everything is happening at once and it feels like you can't keep up. But God says, when you run with me, you won't grow weary. He's promising to give you the energy and strength you need to keep going, even when life is moving at a pace you can't control. And then there's the walking. Walking represents the everyday grind, the day in, day out responsibilities that sometimes feel mundane, but still take a toll on us. And God promises that even in the slow, steady pace of life, you will not faint. He's going to give you the endurance you need, not just for the big dramatic moments, but for the ordinary ones too. He's with you in both the running and the walking, giving you the strength to keep moving forward. Let's be real for a second. Life is hard. Sometimes it feels like you're running a marathon with no finish line in sight. You're exhausted. You're drained. But God is saying, I've got you. I will renew your strength. I will lift you up. I will give you the endurance to keep going, no matter what comes your way. So. How do we experience this strength? How do we plug into this renewal that God promises? It all starts with waiting on the Lord, trusting Him, seeking Him, spending time in His presence. It's about letting go of the need to control everything and letting God be your source of strength. It's about acknowledging that you can't do it all on your own, and that's okay, because God never intended for you to do it all on your own. Here's the thing, God's strength is available to you right now. He's not holding it back. He's not waiting for you to earn it. He's offering it freely. All you have to do is wait on Him, trust Him, and let Him renew you. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we come before you today, acknowledging that many of us are feeling weary, drained, and overwhelmed by the challenges we face but we stand on your promise in Isaiah 40, where you remind us that you give power to the weak and to those who have no might, you increase their strength. Lord, we ask for that strength right now. For everyone who feels like they have nothing left to give, for those who are running on empty, we pray that you would renew their energy and restore their hope. Just as you promised, let them mount up with wings like eagles, rising above the storms they are facing. Help them to run and not grow weary, to walk and not faint. We know, Lord, that your strength never runs out, and you are always ready to pour it out on us when we need it most. Father, we ask for your peace that surpasses all understanding. Remind us that even in the toughest moments, you are our refuge, our source of hope, and our constant help. Give us the endurance we need, not just for the big battles, but for the everyday challenges we face. We trust in you, Lord. We know that you are faithful to your promises, and we believe that you are working in our lives even when we can't see it. We place our hope in you, knowing that you will lift us up and carry us through whatever comes our way. In the powerful name of Jesus, 
we pray. Amen.